Hey guys, in this video I wanted to do a really quick uh, free surfer tutorial video and this is just going to introduce the concept of the QCache command or the QCache tag and the QCache command basically what it does is for surface data files from your subjects surface folder it will create smooth maps using various full width half maximums like it says here if you read this little blurb it will smooth at 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25 millimeters. It will smooth and then it will map the surface data to FS average, which is a free surfer average brain. And this is a really useful command if you're doing any type of group analysis. So it's not, the QCache command is not a part of the standard recon all all. It's not automatically outputted, but there's a separate tag for it and it's really commonly used. I pretty much always run it even if I don't know that I'm going to need it because it's also a really quick tag. So there are two ways of running QCache. If you haven't processed your subject but you have the nifty or the DICOMs, then you can go ahead and do recon all all with your subject ID and input the name of the nifty and then just add QCache at the end and that will run the QCache command. Or if you've already have a subject folder with the data pre-processed using recon all all, then you can still use the QCache command and you run it like this, recon all, the name of the subject from the subject folder, and then the QCache command. I have run the QCache command on a lot of old data that I had, and for my iMac, it only takes about an extra 10 to 15 minutes to run this command and get the additional files. So basically I say that to say it's not a heavy burden to add to your normal recon all all, even if you don't know you're going to use it, because it just takes a couple extra minutes. And so what this does, basically, this is a, an example of a surface folder from a subject who has not had QCache the QCache command run. So you see, for example, that these surface files, there's always a left hemisphere surface file and an equivalent right hemisphere surface file. So for example, right hemisphere thickness, right hemisphere sulci, also right hemisphere area. These will all get smoothed to the various levels and they will also get mapped to FS average. And this is useful, like we just said, for group analysis. So I often create, using the QCache command, z-score map and maybe I'll make a video of this in the future. But basically, if you're going to have any type of control group where you're looking at surface data or you want to make surface maps, then you're going to have to smooth the data because every brain is different. So everyone uses some level of smoothing. I usually use 10 uh, millimeters and the smoothing helps eliminate or minimize the effects of normal variation within brains. And then mapping to FS average will also let you look at the differences using an average brain as the template. So I also have an example of what a folder will look like after you run QCache. So if you go to surface, then you see you have a bunch of additional files. So for left and right hemisphere area, now there are files that say full width half maximum and then the millimeter of smoothing and they also have FS average. So these are the extra files that are created from the QCache command. So the QCache command doesn't have its own free surfer page on the official website, but it is used a lot or mentioned a lot for any type of group analysis tutorials, so I'll go ahead and put the links to these below. This is the main page where it talks about it, I think, and also before I finish the video, I'll just show you guys an example from this subject, which is my brain again, what it will look like, so what the surface thickness looks like compared to the FS average brain. So if you go to TK Surfer, then you enter the name name of a subject folder and make sure for viewing these files you always put an FS average because that's what these surfaces are being mapped to. Then you put the hemisphere, so left hemisphere or right hemisphere. I'm just going to put left and I'm just going to put peel as the surface. And then that will open up the TK Surfer GUI. Now these files you have to view them as overlays and not as surfaces because they're technically uh, like scalar data is being loaded in as the map. So you go to overlay, browse, and then you just go to your subject surf folder. So for me that's in applications, then free surfer, then subjects. 
So I will load in, I have my left hemisphere, so I will load in a left hemisphere thickness file and I'll show you the difference between the zero smoothing and the 10 smoothing. So that's not the right one. Here it is. Click OK. And so if you click the color bar, this will show you the gray basically is just average values. And so this, for my brain, it's saying the thickness is a little bit above average and especially here, I tend to see a lot more thickness. So that's the zero smoothing and basically you'll just see that these blobs become a little bit more uniform the more you smooth them. And so if you create a Z map, you won't have as much of the brain lighting up. You'll just see like a small cluster here or there. So that's the idea with creating these maps. So let me just show you a 10 millimeter smoothing of the same map. So for left hemisphere full with half maximum 10, the brain will now look like this. So I will hopefully make the video about how to create a z-score map, but you basically get this data and for a group of controls you average all the thicknesses and then you can compare that to the thickness of a patient, for example, and get clusters. So this is cortical thickness. You can also, as you see, do area, sulci, volume apparently, and things like that. Alright, that's the video. Thank you guys.